Is button runtime performance truly better than Node.js? Today we will be running real world examples to find out. Here's how we'll do it. The first two tests will involve making API and WebSocket requests. These will be tested in the following scenarios. Running code developed in Node.js with Node 18 as the runtime, running the same code with bun as the runtime, and running code using bun native implementation with bun as the runtime. For each scenario, the load test will be run with 10, 150, 290 concurrent requests using my M1 Mac laptop with 16 gig of RAM. I max the 290 concurrent requests at once because that is the peak before my computer starts dropping connections. I ran each scenario 10 times each and compile an average value for these data points. Each service will be containerized and served using Docker. We will also be tracking memory and CPU usages that will be piped to Prometheus, which is the software for recording metrics and time series database, and display on Grafana, an open source analytics and interactive visualization web application. We will then be using K6 to write and execute the load test with various concurrency to see the API and WebSocket metrics. These tests took some time to prepare, so sit back, grab a drink, and enjoy the findings. And if you'd like to give it a try yourself, the code is available on my GitHub page. Let's get into our first test. Here we have a simple express server that initially loads some data into a local Postgres instance using SQLize. All it does is serves a simple get request that retrieves all the mock data from Postgres and return it back in the response. The same logic is also written using Elijah.js, which is a friendly bundled framework. After all Docker containers are up and running, we will be running this K6 script that essentially allows us to create virtual concurrent users that will be making API requests to our express server. At the end of the 30 seconds duration, K6 will provide some additional HTTP request metrics that we can use to compare against BUN. While the Express or Elijah.js server is running, Prometheus will periodically collect CPU and memory usages that we can view on Grafana. After running all the tests, here are a few interesting points to mention. Bun seems to be using much more memory than Node. Bun with Elijah is using much less CPU with larger number of requests. Bun's total request is longer than Node. The Docker image size of Bun's is 4 times less than that of Node's. With these results, I'm not quite impressed with Bun's metric. Bun does not produce faster API requests compared to Node.js, despite its greater usage of memory. The WebSocket testing follows the same structure as the Express testing. The WebSocket server simulates a live chatting application that multiple users can connect to and interact with at the same time. For Node, we'll be using WS, a Node.js WebSocket library, and for Bun, we'll use its native WebSocket implementation. Like Express, we'll be running this against 10, 150, and 290 virtual users concurrently. Let's look at the result. As the number of concurrent requests increases, Bun actually uses much less CPU and memory compared to Node.js. Bun's native WebSocket implementation is also a lot better than Node.js. It's able to allow more connections overall. Bun was also able to generate more messages overall as well. But what's more interesting is that when running this test with WS and Node.js WebSocket library with Bun as a runtime, the server was able to send more messages. In regard to WebSocket, I'm actually impressed with how well Bun is performing here. For file read and write, I wanted to isolate its operations from network operations, so we'll be using Hyperfine which is a command line for benchmarking tool. We can use Hyperfine to compare the runtime metrics between Node and Bun. Here, we have a simple function that just simply reads from data.json, which contains some random data, stringify the data, and overwrites the data back to the file. The same is done using Bun's native file read and write implementation. For this test, we will be performing three different tests. Running node file read and write using node as a runtime, running the same code using bun as a runtime, and running bun's file native read and write with bun as a runtime. The results are actually quite good for bun in this testing. When running node file read and write using bun runtime, it was around 1.52% faster than node runtime. And when running bun's file native read and write implementation, it was 2.86 faster than running node's native file read and write using node as the runtime. Overall, bun is not a complete drop in and replace for Node.js, but it's really close. When it comes to API requests, it doesn't really outperform Node.js. Bun ended up using more memory and having slower response time. However, I'm still very impressed with Bun's native WebSocket and file read and write implementations. It really outperforms Node.js quite significantly. So there you have it. If you're working with WebSocket or requires a lot of read and write operations, Bun is definitely a great consideration. This has been a very fun experiment. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to CLS, comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. David signing off. See you in the next one.